Hello everyone and welcome back for another video. Um, hope everybody's holidays were wonderful and 2021 is uh, starting off good for you. Um, the holidays were extremely busy around here and then as soon as uh, on January 2nd me and my oldest son got in a car and uh, headed towards Seattle to move him up there. That was a, uh, a long tenuous drive and then I got back home Thursday late afternoon and so we've been trying to work on putting away Christmas stuff and still busy 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 the winery's wrapping up and got lots of things going on with that but yesterday I got in the mail my uh, some assist stamp January 2021 card kit so I wanted to share it and this one is called Snowflake Season, so you get these beautiful inspiration uh, on here. And back to getting our candy. Okay, so the kit, as always, includes a 6x8 stamp set called Snowflake Season. And you get all these beautiful snowflakes. I love the border. This one is huge. These are really pretty snowflakes. And if you have nesting circle dies, these will work great. It says, hello, friend. Snow, happy to know you. There's snow place like home. Snow glad we're friends. Love at frost sight. One of a kind. Snow much thanks. Winter greetings. So much thanks. Missing you snow much. So just cute little um, stamp set. Okay, and then you also get uh, the Simon Says Stamp Filigree Snowflake oh, Embossing Folder. Um, that is this, and it is one of their new 3D embossing folders. So it very much has the same kind of feel as the snowflakes in the stamp set. So these are thick, so just follow the instructions on your machine to work with that. Okay. Then you get the Eliza Snowflake die. So, um, and you get 12 double sided sheets of whimsy stamps, blurry flurries, say that 10 times fast, uh, six by six paper. Okay. So, I have seen these on other videos, and these are very, very pretty. They are double sided, so you have the horrible. Thing of trying to figure out which side you want to use. Well, I know I'll use that side versus that side. That's pretty. Oh, both of those are pretty. It makes it so difficult when each side is pretty. Oh, wouldn't that with gold on top of it be pretty? Yeah, definitely we'll be using that side. Oh, I like both of those too. That silver on it would be good. Okay, so that's fun. Those are really, really pretty. Okay, next, you get one jar of Simon Says Stamp Unicorn Confetti. So this is just a big, chunky glitter. It's iridescent, picks up all the colors, so that'll go with anything. You get a bottle of the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. I have a love-hate relationship with this glue. I like the glue, it's good glue. And it comes out in a thin line, so you don't put down too much. But if you don't use it for a couple of days, it has major clogging issues. So I have a love-hate relationship with this glue. Um, what I need to get me is like corsage pins that you know that are really long and have the big fat head, so they're easy to uh, hold on to, and put them in as a stopper, so that way it can't get clogged up in there. And I think that would probably solve my problem. Okay, enough about glue. Um, so you get Simon Says Stamp envelopes in white, doll pink, sea glass. Meta that's metallic sea glass too. Very pretty. Um, and uh, the holographic. And all of their to have the peel and stick. They're, they're very thick envelopes. These are good quality envelopes. And, well, that's just fun, but also hard to look at. Okay. 
Next we have, um, oh, so here's your coupon code. This is good till 3 1. Um, L V E Y U 842. So then we have our card stock, and this would be Doll Pink, Sea Glass, Lavender, and then we have some of the, um, this one's called Silver Holographic Copper Design. That is really pretty. Probably driving my camera nuts, but that is really pretty. Okay, so that is the Simon Says Stamp January 2021. Man, it's hard to get used to saying that, uh, card kit. So hang tight. I'm going to get situated and we'll make some cards. Okay, I've done some prep work. I've cut down all my card stock into four and a quarter by five and a half uh, pieces because even if I stamp on it, um, it's still a good size to use to stamp on it and, and everything. Um, okay, so I have the Simon Says Stamp Metallic Glitter uh, six by six pack. And so I pulled out the silver gold and copper and die cut the snowflake out of these. Um, I used this, one of these things that can always come in the kit. This is an old one, um, as a shim. And it worked great and they cut just fine. The Simon Says Glitter does not, uh, you get very little flake. I saw a couple of flakes, but usually this stuff does not flake at all. Um, I guess die cutting it does make it flake a tad, but not so much that people are going to be annoyed with you if it, you send it to well, with a, on your on the card. Okay, so now for the embossing folder. Okay, so these three embossing folders it works best if you missed your paper first. Um, but I first tried the distress sprayer and that gave like a just a line of of water, and um, so I didn't get it all over good mist and on this pink, a doll pink paper, and I ran it through, and I don't, I didn't get as good of dimension, I don't think. So then I, I switched to my, my mini mister, and this, that does really give a fine mist all over, and I think I got a much better impression. You see the difference between these two? Much better impression. Okay, so that's that. Here is the purple, and then I did the holographic one too, and I, I did the wrong side up. You can see the the debossed side is on the pretty side, so I did it again, so you can see all that. Okay, so then we're going to, let me do some other prep work, and we'll come back and put together some cards. Okay, so while I'm cutting down this paper, I have to fully admit that it's been over a week now since I first started filming uh, this video and uh, it's taken several days and then I just keep getting sidetracked. There's so much going on with uh, the winery. We actually are getting a uh, driveway poured today. So that was uh, big, but just the, all these little details are, I've got to be so hands-on um, and answering questions and making decisions and stuff at these final critical stages of, you know, the project coming together. So I am glad that I can finally have some time. I've got the house to myself um, and get this done. Okay, so my first few cards that I'm going to do, I'm going to do a combination of some of the pattern paper and using the 3D embossing folder on some of the cardstock that came in the kit. So I'm actually going to do three cards in that particular kind of thing. And I, and I don't always separate them in the same way. I mean, uh, and I'm sorry about that. It went blurry. I don't know why that did that. Um, I think it has something to do with that shiny paper off to the left, but, um, anyway, I, at the end where you'll see all three cards, you'll see that I cut a different size triangle and then I did, um, kind of a split down the middle um, on one of them. And so I, I wanted to make more um, projects with these kits. I had somebody message me asking if I could show um, more projects with the kit. So that's another reason why it, it took me a little bit longer because I was trying to get more projects done in between all the other things that I was doing. 
and um, to really show that you know you can get a lot out of these kits and um, I got let's see one two three four five six seven eight eight cards made and I got uh, let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine tags made so eight cards and nine tags is what I made when I said okay I, I need to uh, stop making and finish up the filming and get this thing posted I still have enough supplies that I could do several more cards so I think you could easily get out of one card kit uh, 10 to 15 cards maybe more depending on how you use your supplies and and or some tags um i used a lot of the scrap pieces to do my tags uh and i used for the tag die i used the gina k largest tag and her tag trio um set that came out during the holidays i think it's just a good size tag and i like the shape of it and everything so you will see all the tags at the end um as far as other, I tried to minimize other products that I used. So I used the this glitter cardstock from Simon, and I also used for my tags. I had a scrap piece of watercolor cardstock, you know, because that's heavy, um, you know, thick paper, and I like my tags to feel substantial, and so I used that on several of my tags, and. What else did I? And of course, my card bases are all uh, Nina Solar White 110 pound, and and then my embossing powders that I used, I used all Nuvo and uh, Classic Silver, Classic Gold, and a uh, Copper Blush, I think is what it's called. But I'll have everything linked down in the video description below. So very little other supplies that I did. Of course, my little guillotine trimmer, uh, my Misty. I do think that, um, you know, with the detail of these stamps that some sort of stamp positioning tool is, is really a must. Uh, I have the Misty and I also have the, uh, Tim Holtz, uh, platform one. Um, I like them both. I was doing smaller cards. So I use the Misty cause it's a little smaller. Uh, when I'm doing five by seven cards, I use the other one because, it's a little bigger and it has an open area for the paper to kind of hang out. And so, but I think, like I said, I think it's just really kind of necessary to uh, make sure that you get a good impression on these. Um, so I did a lot of heat embossing, uh, the sentiments and stuff. And sometimes I stamp and as well as snowflakes on the outside of the cards and some of the sentiments, but um, I also, um, you know, stamp some sentiments on the inside of the cards and some I did not. So that way I could, um, customize it later down the road and, you know, for what I may need. So I think some of these, uh, sentiments that I put on the outside are kind of generic. And so then you could make it personalized to, you know, what the occasion is, you know, later on down the road. If you, and I did go ahead and decorate the insides of each of the cards. And you will see that at the very end when I go through each one individually. But I did do that. I just didn't stamp a happy birthday or, you know, whatever it may be. So here we go. Looking at um, all the things that I made, all the different sets of tags that I did. And I did that by just like cutting some paper in two after I'd run it through the, the die cutter um, with that uh, tag die. On the, all the embossed things, I sprayed them with a craft clear shimmer spray in the frost. It's hard to pick up on camera, but I did. So they're very shiny in person and I love my shine. So you see, I didn't have anything on the inside of that one. Um, I did and also did a combination of side fold, top fold, um, you know, I personally like side fold better, but I do throw in some top fold sometimes. But anyway, so this is what I did for the January 
2020 card kit from Simon Says Stamp called Snowflake Season. I, as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Like, thumbs up, share, uh, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it and thanks for watching.